we're going to start it off with Sarah Thomas, who is from Seismic. Sarah Thomas leads market entry in strategic partnerships for Seismic, and she is an accomplished leader of innovation. She serves as a global aging expert advising startups, large corporations, and investors with nearly 20 years dedicated to transforming the aging experience. Sarah has held lead key leadership positions across the U.S. and Asia, developing and implementing the strategic corporate innovation initiatives. Please join me in welcoming Sarah Thomas from Seismic. I'm surprised to see such a full room at 9 a.m. in Vegas after I think last night's party went till 4 a.m., so you might still be out. Uh, but I appreciate you joining us this morning uh, to this wearable tech conference at CES. Uh, it's really exciting here um, to, to talk about all of the inspirations that we have in the wearable tech space right now. And what I want to talk to you about today is how we can delight by design and how the future of wearables is fashion. So first, let's talk about what it means to delight. This means to create satisfaction or sense of pleasure. And we're going to hear from so many companies today that are doing just that, that are creating a sense of delight and that are bringing people into a new way of experiencing their world. But the customer journey has a psychology behind it that is not just slight UI embellishments that can create this sense of delight. Actually, for a deep sense of delight, you need to have functionality, reliability, and usability. And so I want today to look at inspiration from the fashion world, because who knows better how to delight than the world of fashion? The global fashion industry is a $3 trillion industry with U.S. apparel being a $292 billion industry. And if you look at the fashion world, we see them really primed for technology, where technology and fashion can merge. And if you look at the fashion industry, you also look at trends that they're watching and they're following, so sustainability and uh, personal responsibility and social responsibility. And they're also looking at technology. How many smart mirrors came out this year that you can interact with, or see now, see now, buy now technology that allows you to purchase right on the spot, or integration of virtual reality and augmented reality in order to be front and center at a runway, at a fashion show without leaving the comforts of your home. So we're ready for technology to enter the fashion world, but one thing we need to learn from them is how to delight. There is nothing better than putting on a beautiful piece of clothing that brings joyful color to your life, that fits effortlessly onto your body, and gives you a sense of emotional connection to your day. So how can we learn to merge these things together to create beautiful, functional, reliable, and usable designs in our wearable technology? I had the pleasure of joining the business of fashion last year at one of their private events called Voices. And the fashion world is ready to also change uh, their discussion around inclusivity and age. And I was asked, as you heard, my background is bringing products and services to the market for nearly 20 years, considering the aging process and the global impact. They asked me to speak in London about how to create uh, products and services without that ageist perspective that we see in society. How do we look at this demographic shift of aging and create ageless experiences? How can we look at the business opportunities around the aging consumer and how we can bring a better awareness to how we're developing and designing? The fashion world is also looking at inclusivity. I was on the stage right after Sinead Burke. She's a beautiful woman who's talking about accessibility and inclusivity in designs. And also right next to Strauss Zelnick, who we know in the business world, but we also, if you follow him, really know that he has transformed his body and his life through fitness and health, and he is at his best right now, decades 
better than, uh, than he was decades before healthy and fit, and he feels like age is irrelevant. We should be designing with age in mind, but without the ageist perspective. So how can we make sure that we're making functional, beautiful designs that are usable, ageless, and inclusive? Fashion evokes emotion. We have a sense of relevance, a sense of of uh, confidence when we wear something beautiful, and we need to take some of those feelings and bring them into how we're designing our wearable technologies. So this brings me to Seismic, where I'm Vice President of Product, and really proud to be here today. We are designing a fusion of apparel and robotics. This is where function meets fashion, tech-enhanced fashion. We are hearing about wearable robotics today in a really cumbersome way that we see in the movies, these large exoskeletons that, while they have industrial and medical applications, are not comfortable or wearable or familiar or affordable for the everyday consumer. So enter powered clothing. Our powered clothing integrates discrete robotics designed to help you move better by working in collaboration with your body to give you strength, stability, and power. We're focusing on the core strength of powered clothing to improve people's quality of movement and quality of life. We call this intelligent wearable strength. We have data-driven biomechanics that follow the anatomical muscles along the body. We have breathable fabrics that create everyday comfort and electric muscles interwoven into our suit to assist with motion. We really are an apparel company looking to focus on quality of movement and quality of life. To give you an idea of how this lifestyle change works and how we can start to change lives through our wearable technology and our powered clothing, I give you an example of a gentleman that did wear uh, our clothing for a while and really found a transformation in how he could live. And this is a, a story about him. When I close my eyes, I see the trail. And I'm done wishing I was back out there. Done thinking those days are behind me. I needed a shift. And that shift was seismic. A fusion of apparel and robotics. A drive to get up and out there. The confidence to stand tall. and the energy to keep going. My feet are back on the trail, carrying me onward to what I love, finding that perfect shot. That feeling, that's seismic. So our powered clothing has intelligent wearable strength. And since we're an apparel company, I figured we'd start with the wearable side of things. So we have apparel designers on our team that are experts in the industry, that are constantly adopting pieces of high fashion to make sure that we're picking the right color, the right fabric, the right comfort, the right fit. Their design is impeccable and it's also functional. We're looking to make sure that we are following all the trends of the fashion world and we're integrating that into our designs to a beautiful and comfortable design intelligent, wearable strength. Our, it has such function behind it that our design team has to be also extremely technical. We want to make sure that the forces are distributed across the body from the power layer that's integrated into the garment. So as you can see, it's, it's effortlessly uh, put on his body and he's able to even put his own clothing over it and integrate it into his daily life. We really want to make sure that it's functional and comfortable. And we also have a strength layer, or a powered layer. And this is 
really allowing us to augment the human strength, allowing 30 pounds, or excuse me, 30 watts of power at the hip and at the thigh and at the back to augment the wearer's strength and supplement their own natural strength for movements that are important to them, allowing for a healthy, active lifestyle. We are augmenting the strength of the user. It's not performing the action for them. The individual is wearing this, this power, and it's really augmenting sitting, standing for long periods of time, bending, lifting, and even standing or lifting from a chair, as you can see in the video. The distribution of forces on the body are also programmable and adjustable. So giving the wearer a boost of strength right when they need it the most during activities that motivate them and are important to them. And when people are hiking or standing for long periods of time or active at their desks and they want to be able to conserve their energy or apply strength to their body to be able to improve their quality of movement, we really do see a transformation in quality of life. Thank you. We also have an intelligent layer. This intelligent layer has a full onboard computing full wireless connectivity. And as you can see on the dashboard, it allows for activity tracking, motion analysis, the force levels are also depicted in our dashboard and we can tell everything that's happening with the human body and the quality of movement. I believe on this stage not long ago, you may have also seen Lumo Body Tech. They had a wearable uh, sensor for posture and for gait analysis. And this last year, we acquired Lumo and their IP and their algorithms to integrate it into our suit so all of the postural and gait analysis data sets could be integrated into our intelligent layer and create a better intelligence for our powered clothing. Now, this was quite a, a functional and unique product that's new to the market, and it takes an extremely interdisciplinary team to make this happen. I want to tell you a little bit about our inter interdisciplinary team and the robust, diverse backgrounds that we come from. So we have a user-centered design approach. And what that means is we have real-life users in-house every day. They help us refine our product and really add value to it. There's no way we could create this product without this incredibly unique team. Data scientists biomechanic experts, apparel designers. Clothing itself is a uniquely human artifact that has held both functional and ceremonial value for a millennium. The function of our apparel is to give our consumers back a true independence, a sense of dignity, a confidence so at the center of this interdisciplinary team is the user themselves. As an occupational therapist by background, I have a model that there's nothing without me, or there's nothing about me without me. And I really feel that this team at Seismic has put the user in the center of the design process. Every iterative step that we've made from day one has included the user's feedback. This is such a unique and functional design that we need to provide uh, feedback from the user on comfort, on aesthetic, to make sure that it is delighting them at every step of this journey. They want to make sure that we have uh, the color selection that they are familiar with and they're comfortable with. And because of this user experience and this user validation, we've had extremely positive results. People are saying that they feel stronger, that they feel younger, that they feel like this is an extension of their own muscles, that it's comfortable and it feels good. We want to make sure that every design that we iterate on in this room, we make sure is comfortable, functional, reliable, and usable. And by putting the end consumer in the center of your design process, you can make sure that you're doing that, and we're trying to do that at Seismic. We also have been delivering a uh, unique uh, membership program in order to bring this uh, interesting and unique product to market. We feel that it requires a sense of community, a sense of belonging, as well as information coming from the suit and the data that we can interpret 
and with the consumer, and we can create valuable insights into their own human behavior and set personal goals. We can, through the membership, deliver uh, value that's both personal while also inclusive and ageless, and we can create a VP VIP experience that people really enjoy and are delighted in. With this membership model, we've seen uh, companies like Lululemon and SoulCycle and Peloton bring a sense of membership and community that surpasses other brands. And we're hoping as we enter the market that this is the right direction to go in. And we feel that we've already seen great interest. We're happy to announce that we have a partner that's a lifestyle and wellness brand in Seattle called Transforming Age. And they have committed to the first 200 memberships to deliver the value to the residents who live in their lifestyle communities. We're excited to bring the value through this membership model. We're also building studios to be able to deliver the membership in. We have just created the first brick and mortar studio in Seattle to deliver uh, both a high tech and high touch experience that meet, meets fashion and technology together and really drives value for the end consumer. We're really excited to also uh, be able to expand and bring quality of life and quality of movement to verticals beyond just the general core wellness and general consumer that we've discussed today. We're announcing today four partnerships that are helping us to bring this product into the market, into several verticals. There's one thing that we all have in common. Today we all got up and we all got dressed, as far as I can see. And I think that it's important as we enter the industrial and uh, occupational and health and medical sectors that we make the wearable technology as easy as getting dressed in the morning, integrated into the daily routine and informing people in ways that they want to be informed. So as we enter the industrial market, we're going to be taking uh, technology if, of powered clothing and the programmable platform that we've developed and creating industry-specific uh, powered clothing for the industrial use case, specifically starting with a company called Obayashi in Japan. And they are one of the largest uh, construction companies in Japan. They have over 14,000 construction workers, as well as 14 countries that they're serving. And they are going to be helping to co-develop and to distribute, as well as wear, the powered clothing for industrial use case to help people to reduce workplace fatigue by supporting and augmenting strength at the core while they're standing, lifting, bending, and working for long periods of time in the construction workforce. To expand beyond just the construction or industrial workforce, we're also partnering with Cintas, the, uh, one of the largest corporate uh, uniform companies in the uh, country and in the industry. And they're going to be helping us to bring this core strength and augmented support and core wellness on the job site for the service industry that they provide uniforms for. And we're really excited to be able to co-develop and bring uh, an occupational use case for our, our powered clothing. And lastly, we've partnered with Solid Biosciences to enter into the healthcare and medical field. We know that we're gonna need support to do research to find true applications for this powered clothing to augment strength and to support people of a variety of abilities and needs. With Solid Biosciences, we'll do this research, and we will also be able to better understand how to apply these forces in ways that are meaning for people, meaningful for people in the health and medical space. Our electric muscles augment strength the same way our human muscles do. So we can not only augment strength, but we can provide resistance when it's programmed properly, or we can provide stretch so that we can actually perform range of motion or assist with activities of daily living and help with mobility, be able to expand this to help in the medical and health space in a new way, and it's hopefully as easy as getting dressed in the morning. So I hope that uh, today you find inspiration from the companies that are here to present to you about wearable, wearable technologies. We hope it's also going to be creating a sense of inspiration around beauty and inclusivity, functionality, 
designing with inclusivity, reliability, comfort, as well as usability. We need to bring the fashion world and the inspiration on how to delight into what we're creating in the technology world so that we can make sure people are adopting these really important technologies that we're using. I hope as we're transforming not only lifestyle, but lives that we learn to delight by design. Thank you for having me today.